Do you hear me well? I see some people here like Noor and Omosaja. Okay. Okay, so what about now? It's okay now, the voice? Okay, yes. How are you all? Uh, I'm your uh, English instructor, English teacher. My name is Inji. Hope that you are all great. Yes, I'm just waiting like we're going to wait like one or two minutes maximum till the others join to start our session. Yes, so. Um, I'm going to share the screen with you now. I'm going to focus on uh, the writing today, um, specifically the types of sentences. As you know that when you start to write your um, summary, your email or letter and the article or review or report, you have to know that your, there are some criteria that you have to pay attention while writing, that the examiner use while checking your, your writing. Okay, so um, it's an IG class, not American class. Okay, and I'm gonna write, I'm gonna focus with you on the writing. Okay, the one who is asking about it's American or IG. Yes, so um, as you know that while you are write uh, your article or report or review, the summary or the email, of course the examiner will focus on many things. Like for example, number one, the vocabulary, how you use synonyms while writing, the grammar, the tenses, the variety of tenses that you have to, to use while writing and to type or the structure. What does it mean here, the structures? When you write, for example, uh, let's see that if you're gonna write one sentence about um, the importance of the internet. Okay, so how you will see it? Give me just one example about the advantages of using the internet. I want anyone here to answer this question, please. Huh? Just give me one sentence related to the advantages, one advantage of using the internet. Hmm. Who can answer me? Or you can type, you can in the chat, write your sentences. Hmm. I just want a one sentence about the advantage of using the internet. Like for example, you can say, the internet is widely used in different fields. Yes, I can see here, uh, internet helps people to communicate with each other. Yes, this is good. So this is one advantage, this is one sentence which is written here. Okay, so how can I write my sentence? What you wrote now 
it's a simple one. I can see another sentence, which is, it gives us more information about the world. Yes, great. It's really good, the ideas, and your sentence is grammatically is right, which is perfect. But at the end, it's a simple sentence. So what do you mean by that? What do you mean by simple sentence? So do I have to write with different types of sentences? Actually, yes. It will differ. Actually, yes, it will differ. So on what exactly? Of course, on your grade. Imagine yourself you are writing just the whole essay, the whole article using simple sentences. And you are an IG student, so you have to be aware of the types of sentences. So what are the types of sentences? Let's see together. I'm gonna share the screen with you with the types of sentences, which will be our focus today. Yes. So as you can see here, you have types of sentences. We have, second please. Okay, so we have four types of sentences. Simple, compound, complex, compound complex. These are the four types of sentences that you need to know. Actually, today I'm gonna focus on the compound and complex sentences. So the simple sentences like, like what? Like the ones that you wrote already now on the, um, um, on the screen. So, like, for example, so how can I know that my sentence is just a simple one? It has a subject and a verb, okay? But actually, some sentences, which are simple sentences, have more than, more than one subject. How? Um, so now it's still simple? Yes. And actually also, if you have two verbs, it is still a simple one. How? Let's see these examples together. The first one, the internet plays a vivid role in people's lives. I have here the internet, which is the subject, plays a verb, and I have the object, the rest of the sentence. Also, I have the second one, the internet and the computer are widely used by students. So here I have two subjects. Still simple? Yes, still simple sentence. The third one, the advancement technology enriches and expands our knowledge. This one also is a simple one. Although I have and, and it combines two verbs, but still it's a simple one. So how can I write a compound or complex sentence now? Let's see. A compound sentence, when you have two simple sentences, again, when we have two simple sentences and there is a full stop between them, these two simple sentences, I can join them to have a compound sentence, so how? Let's see. I'm gonna write a sentence on the board to see together.
Look here. In this sentence, I have two simple sentences. The internet plays an important role. We'll stop. It helps to communicate with each other. These two sentences are simple. Imagine yourself are writing using these two simple sentences in your essay, in your article in the exam. How can I change them to be a compound sentence, which is a more advanced level? To combine or to join the two simple sentences together, I have many ways, like, You can see the screen with me? Yes, it's the whiteboard. Oh, uh, still the whiteboard? Okay, I'm gonna share the PowerPoint presentation to know how to combine the two sentences, the two simple sentences to have a compound one. I have three ways. The first one, I can use one of the coordinating conjunctions. What are the coordinating conjunctions? They are here, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. And actually, we can take, for not forgetting them, we can take the first letter of each one to have a fan voice. It's a word for not forgetting what are the coordinating conjunctions. This is one way. Another way I can use conjunctive adverb, like what, however, the for, and others. I already put you others in this presentation, and you'll see them together. A third one, which is the semicolon. Okay, so how, how can, okay, these information, how can I apply them on my sentence now? Let's see. Okay, so I said, let's take the first one, which is the fanboys. One of the fanboys, which are, which is what? For, and, nor, and so on. How now can I combine these two or join these two sentences together with one of the fanboys to have a compound sentence? So instead of having two simple sentences, I will have one sentence with higher level of writing, okay, which is a compound one, by using one of the fanboys. Okay, so who can say it to me now? Uh, miss, we can we can add uh, we can add the uh, comma and end. Yeah, you are right. You're gonna use and, and don't forget that there is a comma before them. Before any one of the fanboys, you have to put a comma. It's you a normal have a compound comma. sentence. Yes, it's again, a, please. It's a normal comma. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, so if I'm gonna use the second one, the second way, which is what? Here? We can put a semicolon. Yes, but with a semicolon, it's not with the fanboys, it's with the conjunctive adverb. Like what? You're going to see all of these are the conjunctive adverbs. After all, in addition, next, also, incidentally, nonetheless, and so on. So, how can I use it? To be right before any one of them, you have to put a semicolon and after it a comma. In this case, you will have a compound sentence. Okay, so what about in my exam that I forgot all of these, but I want to still, I remember that I have to write with a compound sentence. How can I do it now to just gain the, the level of the advanced way? If you forget one of these, you can use between the two simple sentences, a semicolon. Okay, so how it will be? We'll see together our sentence. So I can write the three ways to be clear for all of us. Okay, so the internet plays an 
important role. Oh, sorry. Comma, and it helps. Here, and before it, there is a comma. Then you will continue your sentence. What about the second one, the second way? You can say the internet, the same one, plays an important role. Also. Let me call it, in this case, you can use the for or what? Which one you can use? We're also. We're also. also can you yeah, say the, right. the internet plays an important role, although mm -hmm. uh, it helps to communicate with each other? Also? No, also. Yes, it's right. Although. Or moreover. Moreover, yes, but although, although uh, it's not for the compound, it's for the complex, and we'll take it now. And by the way, although we use it for the two sentences which are opposite to each other, but these, um, you add here information, it's addition of the information, not opposite to each other. You got it? So I cannot okay. here use although, but also, yes, or moreover, as one now said, you can use also moreover. We also can use uh, in addition. In addition, all of these are right. And after them, you have to put a comma. So before semicolon, and after any one of them, comma, then you continue the second sentence. Okay. I'm telling now the last one, which is the semicolon. So you will say it or you will write it like that. Please. An important. Wrong. Just to put semicolon without any, um, any one of the, the previous one. It helps. And you will continue your sentence. So these are the three ways to have a compound sentence to be able to write with using advanced level of writing. By the way, this could be written in the three, in all section of writing summary, uh, email or letter, the review, report, or the article. It's okay. Do you have any question concerning these points? All of you got yes. the point here? Yes. Miss, uh, he could tell us uh, in the exam, for example, put mm. uh, the comma or semicolon uh, between the sentence. It could give us uh, blank sentences, and uh, we will put the comma or the semicolon. Comma fan boys order, semicolon also, moreover, and this. Uh, uh, this is concerning what? I'm um, um, sorry. No, for example, there is a question. Saying to us, uh, the internet plays an important role. It helps communicate each, uh, each other. So uh, mm. he will tell us to uh, put uh, the comma fanboys or uh, the uh, semicolon. No, he will not tell you to put that in your ID exam because in your ID exam, you have to write like an article. He will not guide you to use the compound or complex or any type of these advanced level. It's you, you have to know. He will not guide you in the exam. Oh, okay. To the point, yes, he will not tell you. He will not tell Won't. you in the exam. You have to write using which sentences. No, he will not tell you. You have to practice on doing that because, you know, in your exam, you will have a question and we'll practice on it today. Don't worry about that. I will show you one of the question and I will let you write a paragraph, okay? If the time will help us, we can write more, okay? Uh, like a, a whole essay, no problem. Uh, but I mean that he will not guide you on what exactly you have to write. You have to know that and you have to practice on using that. Yes, I got, you got it. it. Yes. No I would like to know, uh, do we have grammar in IG like uh, no, 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 sentences no. like this? No, no, you will not have. But the grammar you have to study or you have to know the grammar uh, 
uh, because you will be assessed on it in your writing. You know, if you're gonna write your summary, that you have the writing section, you have, uh, uh, you have to write uh, a summary, uh, a letter or email, and uh, essay or uh, a report or a review. So you will be assessed on your grammar, which tenses you use, present simple or present perfect. Uh, uh, you're gonna use this, all the simple sentences or the advanced level of tenses. Which type of sentences you have to use because you are a grade nine or 10 IG, so you have to know about all of these and you'll be assessed on all of these uh, in your writing. Okay, once you have your uh, article, for example, has all the simple sentences without having these compound and complex sentences. So in this case, you, of course, you will not lose a lot of marks, but you lose mark. If your target is the A or A star, so you have to know that these are one of the main criteria that you have to follow while writing. You got it? Yes. yes. Clear now? Okay. Yeah, I got it. So you got now the compound sentences or not? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, great. Because we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna now share the screen with the presentation to go to. These are already uh, sentences like examples uh, for you, uh, but I'm not gonna waste our time on reading them because we already practiced together. And it's your turn now. I wanna each one of you to write three compound sentences on any topic, like the internet, the cell phones, uh, maybe the education, the future, the, um, uh, let's say technology, whatever you want, any three sentences, but they should be um, um, uh, compound sentences, okay? All of them should be the same topic? Excuse me? No, you can uh, have varieties of topic, each one write on the topic that okay. you want, it's okay. It's just a kind of, Practicing on using the compound sentences, okay? You can write them on the chat and I will check the chat now with you. Okay, I can see some send already. Okay, I don't like the cookies that she baked, but I still eat it. Okay, or eat them. Yes, it's right, but it's preferable to remove the that. So I don't like the cookies she baked, she bakes, comma, but I still eat them. Great, perfect. Okay. 
I can see another one. The cars are so fast and they are amazing. Okay, great, perfect. Okay, um, no need for but also. You can just use but why, because when you use when you use but also, so in this one you have to have not only but also. You got it, dear. So it's not related to the compound here. It's another way. So just here you can use but. Yes, perfect. Social media helps people a lot, but it has its disadvantage. Great, perfect. Yes, I can see that most of you using just the coordinating conjunctions. What about the conjunctive adverb? Like therefore, moreover, in addition, besides, all of these. Ah, let's try. I want to see just at least one to write it. Yes, great, perfect. We have money, we can rent a house. Okay. Okay. You finished your homework, which I'm sending it to you. Great, perfect. Yes, the exams are in besides. Yes, perfect. Okay, so the one who wrote besides, pay attention that you have to write semicolon before besides and after it a comma. The punctuation is so important. Pay attention. She learned, but he wasted a time. Okay. He tries for the tutor. Moreover, yes, perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. So pay attention. Again, I'm going to share the screen with you concerning. Um, here the conjunctive sentence, uh, adverb. Okay. Yes. Here, with any of the conjunctive adverb, all of these on the screen here, all of these. See here, number B, number B down with a blue independent clause, which is a simple sentence, a meaningful sentence, semicolon, any conjunctive adverb, then comma. If you write it, but without the right the punctuation, you will lose mark. Pay attention of that. Okay. Okay, I will take these two sentences. Exams are at the doors. This, yes, great, perfect. The man has much money, however, he isn't. Okay, perfect. Great. So let's go to the second time. Okay. Yes. So now I'm going to go to the complex sentences. Okay, so how can I write my sentence now, my two simple sentences, which have already a full stop between them? How can I join them to have a complex sentence? By using one of the subordinating conjunctions, like these, after, although, as, as if, till, while, any one of them or a relative pronoun. What a relative pronoun? You know them, I think so. Who, whom, who is which, that, where, when, why, and what. So again, how can I write a complex sentence? By using one of the subordinating conjunctions or a relative pronoun. So, I'm confused now. 
which type of sentence do I have to focus on? Actually, you have to focus on the three types of sentences using the three types of sentences, which are what? So far we took the simple sentence, compound sentence, and complex sentence. So how many complex or compound sentences do I have to write in my article? It's not about the number. It's not about the number. It's about how you can manage it. Because sometimes when you write a sentence which is really meaningful, but it's a simple, okay, this is good. But pay attention for not repeating or having a lot of simple sentences in your writing. You have to have a balance between the three types of sentences. What do you mean to have a balance? For example, I'm just giving an example. To write using the simple sentences, using, for example, in the whole article, I mean, like three or four. What about the compound sentences? Like, let's say four or five sentences. The complex, the same four or five sentences. So now the examiner, when he starts to check your writing, he will see that you used a variety of sentences, simple, compound, with the right punctuation, and complex with the right punctuation. So now he will know that I'm already aware of the type of sentences. Okay. So, how can I write one complex sentence using one of these? I'm gonna share the white word with you to write a sentence, or we already have one to write it using the same sentence. Okay, which is the internet plays an important role. It helps to communicate with each other. This sentence we answered before using the three ways of having a compound sentence. Now, let's use the two ways to have a complex sentence. Let's say the first one, which is the uh, uh, subordinating conjunction. So which one could suit this sentence, the addition? Because. Because, okay. Yes, it could be because. Let's write it. How you can say it? You can say it to me? Hmm. The internet plays an important role because it helps to communicate with each other. Great. Perfect. Miss, can I say mine? Ma yeah. Uh, there, uh, ma Miss, can I say mine? The internet, the internet, yes. Uh, yes, the internet plays an important role. Mm -hmm. also, uh, while it helps uh, to communicate each other. While it helps to communicate with each other. Okay, yes, it's good. Yes, right. Uh, I, I think that- Can I say? Yes, please, Hend, I think so. Can I say? Yes, uh, please. Can I say the internet plays an important mm -hmm. role mm -hmm. since it helps to communicate with each other? Perfect, great, right. Yes, of course. Huh. Can uh, I say phone? mine? Yes, please, say. The internet plays an important role as well as it helps us to communicate with each other. Great, perfect, yes. Okay, who else? I think Shayma is there. Yes, um, she said. Yes, you said it, great, okay. Anybody else wanna add anything? Okay, all your sentences are completely right. I'm gonna write just another one. Well, since it helps, perfect. Okay, I have a question now. Pay attention of, of what I'm gonna say. If I will use, for example, because at the beginning of the sentence, the same sentence, 
how you can see it, because how you can complete it. Hmm. Because the internet uh, helps to communicate with each other, it plays an important role. Great, yeah, and perfect. there's a comma. Perfect, yeah, that's what I meant here. If you would start with one of the subordinate conjunctions at the beginning of the sentence, so in this case, after the first sentence, you have to put a comma. So because the internet helps to communicate with each other, okay, comma. It, in this case, plays in the rest of the sentence. For example, since, if you start with since at the beginning of the sentence, it will be the same. You got what I'm saying? Who can say the sentence starting with since? Since the internet helps it plays an important role. Yes, the same, but instead of writing because, you will write since, and after the first sentence, you have to put a comma, then complete the rest. This is okay. So can I use one of the uh, um, relative pronouns in this sentence? Because in this case also, I will have a complete sentence. Hmm, who can say it? Can you please say again? Yes, we said that to have a complex sentence, I can use one of the subordinating conjunctions or a uh, relative pronoun, right? What are the relative pronouns? They are who, which, that, whom, whose, where, when, and that, right? So can you use one of the relative pronoun in this sentence? The internet, comma, mm -hmm. which or that uh, helps to communicate with each other, comma, mm -hmm. plays an important role. Yes, could you please say it to me again, the internet, comma, Hmm? Which, that helps to communicate or which helps to communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. Yes. Comma. Plays an, plays an important role. Yes. Communicate with each other. Comma. Uh, plays and important control okay so but i have a question pay attention sometimes sometimes i can't find the sentence with one of the relative pronoun but without punctuation without the commas so what the difference when I have to use the comma and when not. Do you know? No. Okay, let's see that together. Miss, what about the run on sentence? Um, it's another way. We'll cover it in another session. If we will have to be able to meet again another session, session we will we will see how to fix the problem of the run-on because there are different ways to fix the problem of the run-on sentences. So let's focus now on the punctuation while using one of the relative pronoun. I want you please to read the blue sentences, the, the three simple sentences, uh, sorry, the three sentences with a blue color. Done. 
done. Okay. I'm gonna take the last two. Okay. So, the students who fail to submit assignment by the set date will be penalized. Here, I didn't use any, I didn't use any of the punctuation, okay? But the second one, this student, comma, who attends all the classes, comma, suffers from procrastination when faced with assignments. What a difference, I could tell you. Here's the note I wrote it already, let's read it together. Use a comma before and after a relative clause when the information it provides does not, does not identify the noun it modifies. It means that if you will remove it, it will not affect the meaning of the sentence. It's not the main part of my sentence. You got it? Or not yet? Again, the second one, the second one, which has already the two commas. This is a student who attends all the classes, suffers from blah, blah, blah. So if you will remove who attend all the classes, and you will say this is a student who suffers from or suffers from uh, blah, blah, blah. So when you remove already the part of who attends all the classes, it will not affect the meaning of the sentence and you will have a complete sentence because it's not a main part of my sentence. But once after who is a main part, in this case, I don't put the commas. Let's go back to our sentence here in our example to check. Here, the internet, comma, which helps to communicate with each other, comma, plays an important role. Yes, I'm with you that if I will remove, which helps to communicate with each other, my sentence will not be affected and I will have a meaningful sentence. But in this case, in this case, I will still have a simple sentence, which is what? The internet plays an important role. But I want to add an information to have a complex sentence in my exam. So in this case, you have to remove the two commas to show the examiner and to know how to write. To know how to write a complex sentence using the main ideas uh, uh, um, related to the topic itself. So in this example, actually, I have to remove the two commas. Why? Because if you will write them grammatically, the two commas is not wrong. But at the end, at the end, it still is touching, it's touching a little bit to the simple sentence. And you want to say that the way of communicating with each other by using the internet is one of the main idea of my topic. So in this case, you have to remove the two commas. You got it? Hmm. Yes. Sure. All of yes. you? Yes, great. So, which helps to communicate I have to repeat again, sorry. So you got it now, but I, I, I'm going to write it for the people. Maybe you will take a screenshot or something like that. You have it with you. Which please. Yeah, sorry, which helps. To communicate. Okay, please. And important draw. You got it, how? Okay, so what about now?
Any question concerning this part? All of you got it? Okay, so now it's your turn, please. I want to to you to write three complex sentences. On any topic. Yes, I'm waiting for your sentences on the chat. And what about do it not in, uh, in private to everyone? This will be better to share the ideas together if you want. So now you're going to write three complex sentences on any topic. No, when it's essential to your sentence or related to the topic, don't use the comma with the relative pronoun, I mean with the relative pronouns. Don't use comma because it's an essential part. You want to want to highlight it on it, that it already the internet uh, um, helps to communicate with each other uh, and helps, uh, that's why it uh, 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 plays an important role. So in this case, don't put comma while using the relative pronouns. Okay. Teacher, are we supposed to write this, the three complex sentences uh, in public or in private? Uh, in public, okay. If you wanna. Teacher. No Thank problem. you, teacher. You're welcome. Yes, great, perfect. Uh, last year, when I met her for the first time, okay, comma, it was special for me. Okay, the one who wrote this sentence, don't forget to put in the second sentence the subject, it was special for me. Okay, great. Okay, but can you please correct the exam paper as soon as you are free? This sentence, um, pay attention, don't use semicolon and come up after it. Okay, just uh, with nothing, no punctuation. Why? Because as soon as in the middle of the sentence, as a subordinating conjunction, no comma. In the middle of the sentence, no comma. But if you will use it at the beginning of the sentence, after the first sentence, comma, then the second sentence. Okay. education. Yes, very perfect. Because I have been busy studying for. Yes, okay. He used to go with his friend who, whom, not who, whom he knows since 10 years, for example or since 10, okay, whom, not who, because here you are talking about the object, so whom, yes, comma before, because, no, no, don't, if you will use comma, okay, uh, if, sorry, if you'll use any of the subordinated conjunctions, like because in the middle of the sentence, no comma, but if you will use it at the beginning of the sentence, because, I was sick, comma, I didn't go to school. Okay, you got it now? 
Can you open it? Can you just tell me the reason why? Open it. Yes, okay, perfect. Teacher, read. Uh, put comma where the one who is asking about the comma. If I, I will say again, one of the subordinating conjunctions like since, because, although, okay, if you will use it, if you use any one of them at the beginning of the, uh, of the sentence, like, although the internet is very important, comma, it has many drawbacks. So I used here, although at the beginning of the sentence, but if you will use although in the middle, no comma. Okay? Best ways. Perfect. Yes, great. I can see that you are really good in these parts. And any question? Do you have any question? Because we'll go to right now, okay? Okay, so are you still here? Okay, so you have a question now. As computers are being used more and more in education, there will be soon no role for teachers in the classroom. Okay. Could you please write like um, a paragraph concerning this, just a paragraph, okay? Using simple, complex and compound sentences. You can? Huh, I wanna see a thumb up or not. Excuse me, I didn't get you. Okay, I have now a question, okay? This one, as computers as being used more and more in education, okay, there will be soon no role for teachers in the classroom. This is a question that could be in your article. I want you now to write like a paragraph, okay, using simple, complex, compound sentences to practice on using them in a paragraph, I mean. You got it or not yet? Hmm. as a kind of practice using the sentences that we uh, already uh, um, did now. Yes, I got it. Come on. So, let's write using uh, the chat and I will check yours now.
-hmm. Done or not yet? Here again the question, I will share it with you. Any help? Anyone need any help? Yes, okay. If you can write using more sentences like compound and extra complex, it will be better to practice using these. Come on, go ahead if you can. When we were in the school, semicolon, okay, semicolon, then it was much better than online classes. So when we were in the school, semicolon, it was much better than online classes. Yes, but I think that maybe because of the typing, you misplaced the uh, semicolon. Yeah, but it's okay. Good one. Huh. Okay, great. Okay. I'm used to. Okay, without it, I'm used to. Perfect, yes. Good one. Perfect. Yes, the one who wrote already the parashayma, I think so. It's perfect one. Great, perfect. Why I get this much? The problem. Okay, but pay attention uh, that this is a simple sentence. Okay, so you need to practice using the compound and complex because it's still it's a simple one. Yes, great. I have another paragraph. 
I have a question. Yes, please. Can we can we write more than one paragraph in the chat? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Okay, for instance, before for instance for instance, you can put semicolon and after it a comma to have a complex sentence. It's available for okay, but pay attention that you have moreover. Okay, no, just wait. Uh, I, I have here, this may have advantages. For instance, it's available uh, for uh, all time. Moreover, it saves time. So I think here it's better to remove for instance. Okay, because you have moreover. So you have to use just one, uh, um, one subordinating conjunctions, not two. Okay, or coordinating conjunctions here. So you have, for instance, so you can remove it, or you can remove moreover for not having in one sentence two tools or two, uh, um, one uh, uh, conjunction and one subordinating, so it will not be right one. You got it? Yes. On the other hand, this may be preferred to have closer, faster, will, okay, which will um, negatively affect the teachers. Okay, which will negatively affect the teachers? No need for the comma, as we said. Because here, which, uh, um, th this part is essential. So no need to have a comma. You got it? Yes, perfect. Okay. As soon as I finish studying, okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Anybody else? Still anyone here is writing to summarize what we said today to recap what we said together today? Still anybody is writing or done? Hmm. We're still writing, teacher. Who? You are still writing? Okay, continue, continue, no problem, don't worry. Thank you, teacher. You are most welcome. So I will summarize what we said till Shaima finishes already. So I will share the screen with you. So we covered today the types of sentences. As I told you that you have to use different types like simple, compound, complex, or complex compound, compound complex sentence. Okay. Uh, pay attention if you will join two subjects or two verbs, still you have a simple sentence. So to have a compound sentence, you have these three ways, one of the coordinating conjunctions or a conjunctive adverb or semicolon, okay? Don't forget to put a comma before the coordinating conjunction and before the subordinating uh, conjunction adverb, like here, there is a semicolon and after it, a comma, okay? And you can use just the semicolon without any uh, of, the, of the others, A or B. And all of these are the uh, uh, conjunctions that you, you need to know, conjunctive adverbs that you need to know. Before them, semicolon, and after them, a comma. 
and these are examples. And for the complex sentence, you can have a complex sentence by using subordinating conjunctions or a relative pronoun. If you will use one of the subordinating conjunctions in the middle of the sentence, so no comma before them. If you use any one of them at the beginning of the sentence, so after the first sentence, a comma, then the rest. And for the um, relative pronouns, all of these could be used based on the meaning that you have in your sentence. And these are also examples. Pay attention on using the comma if you're going to say a main part related to the topic that we are writing about. So no need to put commas before the um, uh, uh, relative pronoun and after or between the relative clause. No need. Okay, because it's you are writing or adding information which is related already to the topic itself. Okay, the one who asked me about the run-on, okay, how can I solve a run-on sentence? Actually, you can use the same tools or the same one of the coordinating conjunctions, conjunctive adverb or semicolon, okay, to fix your run-on sentence. So you will have in this case a compound sentence. Or also, you can use one of the subordinating conjunctions or relative pronoun. In this case, you will fix your run-on sentence. Okay. You got it now? Any question concerning this? I'm waiting for uh, anyone who is going to write anything. But for the explanation of today, this is the lesson that I covered with you. And uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask me. No, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna check now what you send. Great. Yes, great, perfect, yes. Okay. Yes. So thank you for today. And I hope that you really get your benefit from this lesson. And uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask me before uh, finishing the session. Thank you. Thanks a lot. See you, inshallah. Bye-bye. Thank you, miss. You are most welcome. Thank you. You are most welcome. Bye-bye.